All right, everyone, this is Sandcast, Beach Volleyball with Triborn and Travis Morita. We are not, we're back off the Zoom. We are sent, we are in person, six feet apart, uh, yep. with a full monster cooler right in front of us and a Wilson ball and a Wilson t-shirt. Hey, and you there's, know. A, there's Kona somewhere in here as well. Just uh, so happened we have, to be uh, <laughs> sitting around here. So we have sponsors blocking the distance between us. Um, and we got a, a special episode. We got today. airflow with the, yeah. the garage door. We do have airflow. We're in the garage. Um, we know this. This is my natural habitat mm-hmm. in the garage. And this is a really special episode. Actually, um, something that we've been really excited about for a while now um, is that we are uh, announcing a book that we wrote uh, that is out today. Uh, it is called Volleyball for Milkshakes. If you are watching the video, you can check out the cover right here. Uh, the cover was done uh, by Nicolette Martin, who most of you are probably familiar with, the artist of Beach Volleyball. Oh, yeah. um, so this is kind of a celebratory we're episode authors. with my guy we're who brought some, brought some Andre to celebrate Woo! Tribe being an author. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, this is, uh, this is something that nobody thought would ever happen. <laughs> <laughs> nobody that's ever known me thought that I would be an author. So, you know, we got to take a sip of champagne for this Yeah, one. buddy. Trav, cheers, homie. Thanks for bringing me on board on this one. Yeah, buddy. Bringing me along. I was writing. So I was, Taste of victory. Yeah, buddy. So uh, nothing like $6 champagne. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're not supposed to tell them. 66000 Yeah, but hey, added listen, zero. we are drinking them out of <laughs> Tiffany's flutes, <laughs> champagne flutes, which apparently that's a nice thing. Apparently it's nice. Yeah. I'm told. <laughs> So uh, I was writing, you know, like with each episode, I do a write-up. I was like, I pre-wrote this one because I knew what it was about, yeah. about the book. And um, it was funny because I was like thinking about how when I went to interview with the Northwest Florida Daily News, they were asking me about like my long-term plans. This is when I was 23. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, you know, I'm going to write high school for a while, pick up like a small college beat, go to a bigger college, and then end up like, you know, Sports Illustrated is my dream job. Right, and like nowhere in there was beach volleyball mentioned. And then if you take like you at that same time period, yeah, you would have never been like, yep, writing is in my future, or podcasting, <laughs> right. like hosting, <laughs> being on camera or on the mic in any way besides like as the athlete. Yeah, and yeah. now it's just funny how times change. Because I mean, just in the past, we've been doing the podcast for like two and a half ish years now. And yeah. we just like change, like our life paths have changed so much. Yeah. You know, like I met you in 2016, kind of. That was when we first talked on the phone. Right. When I interviewed you for the first book. Yeah. Um, and then two years later, with your help, I qualified on the AVP. <laughs> you were there to witness it. Yeah. And now here we are. You're an author, you're a host. Yeah. Dad, married. Mm-hmm. You're married. I'm married, Dang. and now Nicolette's uh, an author, or, uh, an illustrator of a book, so she's stoked. Yeah, it's a full volley crew, for Yeah, sure. We keep it in-house. Yeah, and then Kim Smith uh, edited the book, so it's complete volleyball, beach volleyball that, community. That's what's here. pretty cool, like, and I've said this before, and talked with other athletes from other sports about this, is that we are almost forced to learn other stuff, Yeah. right? Like, that's what I've learned. Like, I can go be a professional beach volleyball player, and make a good living, but I'm going to want to, my career is going to end someday, right? And I'm going to want to have some, I want to hit the ground running after I, after I retire and I don't want to be forced to play like for a long time, you Mm -hmm. know? So I feel like a lot of beach volleyball players take on other passions and just try to learn other stuff. And a lot of them, let's be honest, are forced to do other stuff. Mm -hmm. But, um, I mean, I'm, 100% 100% on board with the fact that you need to keep learning and growing as a person. And in five, 10 years, you don't want to be where you were. You right. Know? You want to like be surprised like where we are right now. Like, yeah. whoa, I never knew I could do this. Yeah. Like, that's what I want to be in five years. Yeah. And I think that's, this is like just another like inspirational thing that I can look at and be like, whoa, I can do that? Yeah. What else can I do? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And like books are hard. They take a long time. Yeah. Like for most people, you know, if, if you're like a you know, semi-educated adult, you could read this in a day like right. pretty quick. Yeah. And um, it, t- it still took us, you know, we started talking about it a pretty long time ago. Yeah. It took us a while. Like books are hard. Good things take time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Um, but why don't you give the listeners a little rundown of, of what they can expect in volleyball from milkshakes? All right. Well, so it's a fictional story, first of all. And basically how it came about was, I mean, this podcast, right? You, you basically heard my story along with a lot of the other players that have come up through Hawaii. And that's, I feel like that kind of sparked your interest the most was yeah. like, what is happening in Hawaii? And, that, and, <laughs> yeah. and there's a lot of people talking about it, you know, the baby court and whatnot. Um, and so we had been talking about writing a book, a different book, actually. Um, but I think we got the juices flowing on that. Yeah. And, uh, and then someone threw out the idea, and I'm sure it was you, uh, that we could potentially make a children's book out of, uh, I guess, my story. Yeah. Based off of my story. Um, and we talked about it for a bit and then kind of ran with it. You threw out some ideas and then I, uh, kind of threw out my ideas based on what you had put out there. And I was like, all right, how true do we want this to be? And, and we didn't need it to be true at all. Right. But it ended up like, I feel like my only value is like really just giving the honest truth about like how my childhood went and how I have developed and learned things and how I think... The other players, like the guys we include in the book, the other mm-hmm. Hawaiian kids and um, and Ricardo. <laughs> <laughs> and Ricardo made He's, his way in there. Ricardo's randomly in there. Um, 